I'm Tori Brindle Mansell. I work on the Chittix Dairy in Pyre in the Shoalhaven region on the New South Wales south coast. We're milking 90 cows on a robotic, fully automated system on about 120 acres. I came down seven years ago for placement. I did not know what I was going to do when I left uni and then Brett and Shannon offered me a job at the end of the summer and I fell in love with it. So I went on to study dairy automation and agriculture automation at uni. It's the lifestyle. It's so nice being close to the beach and then I've always loved working with animals and getting to do it each and every day is really lovely. In agriculture, it's moving heavily towards automation. It's a lot more appealing for labour units to go that way. You're attracting more specialised labour units. The idea around automatic milking systems is that it's fully self-motivated for the cows to come in and autonomous. Their main motivation is different allocations of food throughout the day. They also get grain in the robots. So we're not physically going out and bringing the cows in two to three times a day like they do in conventional systems and hooking up the cups. The robots do that and the cows do that themselves. When the cow first comes through, the brushes come on to clean the udder and to also stimulate her to let her milk flow down. After that, a laser and a camera helps find the teat location. And then from there, a vacuum pulsator milks each quarter individually until they're fully milked out. From there, it's held in a buffer tank where it performs a Californian mastitis test, which gives us a measurement of the cell count, so the amount of bacteria in the milk and how much fat and protein is in the milk as well. After that, iodine is sprayed on the teats because they're open for up to an hour after milking, so we don't want any mud or debris to go up into that udder. And then in between every cow, the brushes are disinfected and the cups are flushed. So we're not gonna transfer things like mastitis from cow to cow. The collar does a few different things. So it measures their heat, their amount of rumination, their body temperature, how much they're walking, and it will transpond that data when they walk in to the computer. So if anything's wrong, it will flag that to us, but it also allows the cow access into the dairy. We can get flagged any sick cows and any cows on heat. We'll also look over everyone's cell count. We can look down to an individual quarter how much they're producing and the fat and protein indicates whether we gave them enough food in that particular allocation or not. Maybe that day we might give them an extra bale of hay if they're quite low in production or if their fat and protein isn't meeting the right levels. I enjoy this system mainly for lifestyle balance and welfare management. It's a lot different to getting up at four o'clock every morning. It's really benefiting the cows because we're not going in and stressing them out, bringing them in each day. It's self-motivated for them to come in when they want milk relief or for feed, so lower stress levels. It is labour intensive at the start, training cows to come through. It can be time consuming at the very implementation and someone does have to be on call 24 seven, whether it be a staff member or a mechanic or the owner. So there can be the occasional 1am breakdown that someone has to get up for. But in saying that, there can be breakdowns in conventional systems and that can back up your whole day's milking. Good animal welfare for me is happy and healthy cows. Healthy cows produce more oxytocin, so they're gonna produce more milk. If they're eating and they're producing lots of milk and they're getting excited to get out to their feeds and seeing them literally run out here every day, mooing with excitement is really lovely to see. And just making sure that they're nice and healthy, preventing diseases, keeping the cleanliness up. I think the future of good animal welfare is more education in understanding what we're doing on a daily basis, how it affects the cows, how our cleanliness and our handling of the udders affects mastitis and transferring it from cow to cow. Automation is amazing in the dairy industry for twofold. We're going to attract different labour units and save labour units but we've also got healthier and happier cows. We can look at this technology and the data that we're collecting and use it to make sure that they're nice and healthy.